Hello folks, welcome back to another video. Today is Friday and it is around 10, 10.05 in the morning. <clears throat> I wanted to just go over a bunch of things, tell you what happened this morning uh, on my dash. So I have three scheduled dashes for today and I already completed one of them. So the one was from 7 to 10 and then I staggered it from 11. So the next one's at 11, which now I'm you know, I have a, an hour break, so that's why I'm doing this video in between that. So my next dash is from 11 to 3, and then then I have one scheduled from 4 to 11, which I I may stay on later on till, till 11, but the thing is, is that, you know, most of the time, it's not really busy past 9 or 10 o'clock. However, it is Friday, and Friday is supposed to be a very good day. Friday is supposed to be the really the best day of the week, I think, that and Sunday. Saturday is a little iffy, but the whole weekend should be popping, right? Now, with that said, folks, so what I did this morning is I, I when I first woke up, I, I, I woke up late. When I say late, I woke up just at seven. So I had to hop in the, in the, uh, you know, the shower and everything. And, you know, I didn't really get out to the car until like 735, 740. So I basically missed, you know, more than a half hour. And then I didn't really get anything. Well, I did get two orders. Two of them came in and I, I just didn't, I just declined them because I wasn't ready at the time to go out because I was still getting ready, you know, putting my clothes on and stuff. So I declined only two orders. All the rest of them I took. Now, none of them were below 525 and nothing was bigger than 775 something like that so that was good but the only problem is and they were and they were relatively close there were only two or three milers i i guess i got a little lucky whatever you want to call luck but here's the interesting part folks do you remember the video i did that i critiqued you know udm's videos that you know in other words there was one or two the all the whole set of the three that he did on the algorithm and what it does and no matter what happens whether you decline or not it's still going to try to give you what it tells you it's going to give you right they're not going to give you this is why like i don't understand how these other some of these other dashes are saying that they make three and four hundred dollars um a, a, a day like how is that possible because Let's let's do the math on it. 20, 20 times twenty dollars times eight hours is what? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. So it's 160 in eight hours. So if you add another four hours to that, it's 180, uh, 200, 220, 240. Now that's 12 hours, folks, right? 12 hours of work, supposedly, if they're cutting us back to um, to 12 hour shifts. Now, in other words, yes, is there large order programs that they make a little bit more? So those large order people, yep, they make probably 25 and sometimes $30 an hour. I guess maybe it is possible to make 300 in a day, but you have to kiss ass all day long. Now, one thing that happened to me, because um, I'm all over the place here, because I'm trying to think of so many things I want to tell you in this video. But so there's this lady, Sylvia, and I've delivered to her before, but I, I, I can't even remember because it was was one after another. I, I got a uh, stacked order that was only going 0.8 or whatever. It was 550, whatever. Oh, by the way, all I made in those two hours from 8 to 10 was $46. So that... Right there, it's it's cut cut down to about what twenty two fifty or twenty two seventy five, whatever, right? So it's true they are they are limiting the regular dashes to about close to twenty twenty one dollars an hour. That's about that's about all you can make, okay? Because if you're not in the large order program and they're not going to send you large orders and you're not doing any other type of thing, you're never going to get any of those big orders because they won't send them to you. Now, the thing is, is that I was on since seven, but I didn't really, I don't count it because I didn't really come out. I was, didn't really kind of get into the car until 
20 minutes of almost quarter of eight. So another 15 minutes went by until I started getting orders, like orders coming in. In the morning, the 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 breakfast crowd is terrible. They they're all it's all two dollars and three dollar tippers and two fifty. There's nothing major. So doing breakfast, it is what it is. There's I highly doubt there's ever gonna be a giant breakfast order unless it's a catering order, which there are people that probably get them. And it depends where you are in the country, what part of, you know, if you're in more towards a city, unless someone's having some unusual thing, but taking into consideration how many dashes there are out there, how many people are going to get that order. There's only one person going to get an order like that and they'll pick the top dasher person who is either higher than 50% or whatever the higher amounts are i believe i can't prove this but i believe the algorithm is set to give orders according to someone's um acceptance rate if you have a higher acceptance rate you have a higher chance of getting an order that's just the bottom line and this type of practice has to stop folks these, these are the things i don't care if someone says oh well the company can do anything they want no because what they're doing is discriminating against the rest of us who have been dashing for a long time. There's even part-timers that have been doing this for seven, eight, nine years. You think it's fair for them not to get a large order once in a while? I mean, and they're part-time. I'm full-time. I definitely should be getting, you know, more orders because I'm out here 10, 12 hours a day and sometimes more if I, if I have to. And I guess what's going to have to happen, I'm going to have to adjust my, even though I, 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 I mean, I don't have pride, folks. I can swallow my pride. And I'm not going to say I'm wrong about what what they're doing. They are absolutely wrong the way they're doing things. But my standard was like 675 was the cheapest I was going to take. And now now I've come down to the fact I might have to take $5.25 orders, you know, going a couple of miles, even though I don't like it. Because I if I don't pay my rent soon, I'm going to be thrown out of my house. It's as simple as that. I'm behind in my rent, folks, you know. I'm, I mean, I'm not bitch moaning, complaining, and going, woe's me. But it is what it is. So, like, I'm in the same boat of a lot of, lot of you. I've heard there was someone was telling me in one of the comments they were going to be losing their car. They, they were going to get repoed re, uh, pretty soon. And that sucks, too. So, like, I don't, I'm not going to become a top dasher at all. But I'm going to have to lower my standards on what which... Uh, you know, orders that I take. Okay. And, and it sucks while at the same time, I am going to take these people to court. I'm not afraid to go to court folks. I'm not afraid to fight these people at, at some point, folks, you need, you need to grow some brass and, and stand up for your rights period. And I saw big Mike, thank you for your uh, kind words and everything in there. And I please pray for me too, because I, I need all the prayers I can get. Well, I'm not going to just jump into it, even though, you know, I am thinking about everything. I can't just, I got to do it the right way. Of course, I was angry yesterday when that stuff happened to me. And so, you know, I made that video. I'm not going to say I made it hastily. I made it and I meant what I said in it, but I might have to adjust. The, you know, it may not be two weeks that I'll file the lawsuit. It may be a little later than that because I, I still have to do some research. I am going to sue these people, whether I use lawyers, whether I use the attorney general, whether I use the community, someone had suggested, and I don't know if I remember if I put this in one of my videos that like, it would probably be a good thing to actually set up a GoFundMe page for you, for all of you people. So you could push, put in for the lawsuit. If I, if I need, if, I mean, it's going to take money to probably do it. So the thing is, the cool thing about that is if you guys did do that, and I want to, I want you guys to tell me in the comments, do you think a GoFund page, GoFundMe page is, is worth it to do it? And the thing is, believe me, folks, you won't have to worry about me taking a dime from it or stealing from it if we go that route, because I'm, I'm very honest. Every penny would, all of it would be used for lawyers to, to sue them and, and do like a class action or whatever we had to do. But I don't know. I, I have to just, I have to check things out. I have to do a lot of research and everything before I just go, you know, uh, knee deep into all of this crap. But I am willing to do it, folks. I'm willing to do the whole thing because we need to. We need to hit them with lawsuits. 
We need to, they, they can't get away. This is discrimination. What's going on, folks, discriminating against the other drivers. It's the same thing, whether you would be black or white. If they said, oh, you're, you're white and we don't want you to drive. We're just going to have all Amer uh, African-Americans drive or, or the reverse of that. Oh, we don't like black people. So we're going to make, we're going to, um, let them drive and you, and I mean, the white people drive and then they can't drive this. It's the same thing, folks. And there's no disrespect here because I love every culture out there, folks. I love every one of you. You're all human beings. God loves you. I love you, you know, and, um, but I, you know, I'm not going to be politically correct either. I'm going to say it how, how it is. So you get the gist of what's really going on. And most of you do like, I love each and every one of you. I don't care the color of your skin, whether you're, you know, whatever, um, whatever nationality you are. I love all of you. Every single one of you that listens to these videos, because I'm trying to help all of you, not just some of you. I'm trying to help all of you, every one. Okay. And so anyways, so I kind of experimented and did, did like a little beta test where I says, all right, you know what? I, I declined two of those orders and I'm not going to take them. And then, you know, when I first put the app on, and then it proceeded into, okay, now I'm in my car. Now I, I can't, I'm not going to decline orders and just sit here for two hours making nothing. So I, I took every order, but I didn't take low ball orders for two seventy five dollars or $3 or $4 or, I, or even $5. The worst one I took was five seventy five. Now I want to say one other thing or two other things. This lady, Sylvia, I, I mentioned her. Yeah, but I forgot to finish off the story. Sylvia, I got a message from this lady and she says, hey, uh, I left the tip on the door and I don't know whether she left it while I was delivering the order and I just didn't see it in the messages or whether she did it after I delivered it. But I was already, I this was like a half hour past and I was already doing other deliveries. So I'm thinking this is a person that I'm delivering to saying, hey, I left the money on your door and whatever. And I said, oh, okay. I said, I said, uh, Oh, I must have missed it because I didn't, I thought I already delivered to her, but I'm like, wait a minute, it might be an upcoming delivery. Then I'm checking in there and it isn't her. And so I said to the lady, listen, I'm confused. I go, I just dropped off at a few other people, you know, where are you? I mean, what? So I said, you need to call me. Now she didn't call me for like 20 minutes. So during that time I got angry because like she says, oh, you know, in the message, it said, oh, I want to leave you a tip. It's on my door in a little envelope, you know, because I know you guys are hurting for gas. Right. So I kind of screwed myself in a way because I got mad and I said to her, you know what? I said, we all us drivers, we enjoy we love doing this job for free. I said, we, we, we absolutely we dream about it every day to go out and just drive for free. We, we do charity work here. In other words, I was throwing it in her in her face. And uh, then she writes back, oh, well, I know you don't do this job for free, but that would help you in, in with the gas, right? So then I wrote back. I said, well, I said, Sylvia, no disrespect to you, but I go one in 10, one in 10 people. I mean, it, which is not true. I, I was just mad. Okay. I said one in 10 people actually get a tip from, from customers. In other words, I don't even consider a $5 tip or less a tip. I don't because- if you really care about the drivers and, 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 and waitresses and waiters, you'd, you'd give them more than five bucks because you, you, I mean, some of these people folks are using the nine ninety nine a month system where they're not paying for delivery charges on every delivery. So they can afford to put a tip in there. If you're using the service all the time, you, you need to put a tip in there and better than five bucks. If I get $6 all day long, I won't even bitch. Because it's above average. It's more than $5. $5 is a slap in the face in my estimation. You may disagree, but it's a slap in the face. Because we are in 2022. When I was 19 years old driving or 18, first doing deliveries, I was making 2 3 and $5. You're going to tell me nothing's changed in friggin' 25, 30 years? Really? I mean, come on. Put, put, I mean, these people are idiots. So anyways, to finish off the story with, with Sylvia, I said, you know what? I said, I, I love doing this job for free. And I said, you know, why don't you give, why don't you 
uh, I says, I love doing charity work. I says, and it's the funny thing is, folks, I do, I do do some charity work. I, I actually volunteer at a horse farm every Wednesday, and I, um, I take care of horses, and I don't get paid for it, right? Because I, I love, you know, I would love to get some money a little bit, but you know what? I love them so much that I, I, I told the people, hey, don't, I don't need it. Because they're not going to give it to me anyway. So I, fi I figured, well, the only way I can get close to these horses is to, is to just volunteer. So that's what I do. So I do do charity work and I do other charity work too. But I was being a little coy and sny because I was just upset because like now I'm trying to, I'm supposed to find out where this lady is in this house. I could have been five deliveries before that. I had no idea. I never really checked those messages. All I do is read the messages inside when you first get to the person's house to know what, what the directions are. And I follow those directions to the T. I hardly ever look at the text, but she obviously either did it earlier or after I dropped it off. So I'm not going to go chasing her around. It probably was only a couple bucks anyways. But I just said to her, why don't you donate that to a church? I said, the, the God's people probably need it more than you. I go, I don't need it. You know what I mean? And then she never responded back. But the funny thing is, right, when I looked in the messages after I completed the, after um, I completed my delivery, her message was now disappeared. It was, you know, because they have a string of messages. You can see like all the past messages that you've talked to to people. And you know what I think she did? I think she blocked me and she probably gave me a bad rating because she didn't like my answer. And I, I kind of screwed myself because I, she did leave a message on my phone because I told her to call, but it was too late. She's calling 30 minutes later. I'm not going to go chase after two, three dollars, five dollars, whatever, just to go pick it up because she left it on her door. If, if these people really care about you folks, they would leave the tip already in the app or they would meet you at the door. So it's obvious. I mean, we're not, when we're delivering, we're kind of in our zone, aren't we, folks? We kind of just go up, we put it on the steps, and we just take a picture and leave. We're not looking around for envelopes. She says, oh, my envelope is on the thing, right? Oh, well, I'm supposed to know that? I mean, anyways, it's and actually, you know, thinking about it now, I think that I do now remember the house that I came to and I did see an envelope, but it's, it said something like Dimitri on it or something. It didn't say DoorDash. So like I, it was like the stupidest thing. I know I, maybe I'm an idiot. I'm probably an idiot for not taking the, the envelope, but I didn't, I don't, I don't steal folks and I don't take things from people unless they give them to me. You know what I mean? I like to be handed something. I don't like to just guess and say, Oh, that's mine. Let me take it. That's not how you're supposed to do things. Thou should not steal, right? And I'm not stealing. <laughs> Anyways, I know I'm ranting here. I, I want to say one other thing. Um, so uh, I did a video last night, folks. Um, a live stream that uh, UDM did a few days back. And uh, I kind of got into a whole bunch of things now. I, I'm going to put that video out um, later tonight or later today or something. Uh, but I have to do a little editing because uh, it just needs to be uniform. I, I was doing it on the fly and uh, I kind of dropped my phone and whatever. I have to edit out a few few things, stupid things in there. But um, the whole point of it is it's an important video to listen to because I go over a lot of things in that video. So... Hopefully you guys will watch it. It's about an hour long, um, and I'll be putting that out later today. But uh, thanks for listening to me this morning. <laughs> it's been a, a really bad week for me and a bad couple of days. And, you know, we're in the fall now, and it's like I hate compromising, folks. I really do. I don't lower my standards normally, but I'm going to have to lower them down just a little bit because I'm, I'm hurting. I'm, I'm getting killed out here. I'm not making money. I mean, I don't want to have to compromise. These these companies shouldn't be putting us to the point that we're on our knees begging. Like, I mean, it's insane. It's insane. This stuff has to be have a stop to, and, and there has to be regulations put in. I don't want to be an employee of any of these companies. I, I want regulations put in, but honest regulations, not, not new world order regulations. And by the way, I'll probably never get that dream. I mean, who knows? But I'm not going to take it on. I'm not sitting on my knees. I'm going to 
I'm going to go out swinging, standing on my feet. So that's all I got for you. <laughs> I just wish there was more channels, folks, and more people that talked about this stuff and, and just weren't scared. <laughs> Why is everyone afraid? What the hell is wrong with everyone? You know, grow, grow a set of kazungas, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I hope you're laughing a little bit because I need some laughing. I need to laugh a little bit these days. It's been so sad. It, this past summer has been a, been a disaster. Disaster. Uh, all right, folks. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Until next time, I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.